Oh my god, the 2K21 demo is coming out, dude. I'm so excited. Putting the screen is taking so long, dude. Oh my god. Oh, I'm just an idiot. I have to click it. Wait, this is looking a little familiar right here. Oh, what is that? Is this 2K20? Nah, I think I'm on 2K20. Yeah, let me just get on 2K. Bro, I want to get on 2K21. What? It's not, it's not working. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Henry, aka HD, and I'm back in the building with yet another banger. Now, as you can see, today I have one of the best guard builds that will be in NBA 2K21, and the build that I like to call the Kobe Bryant build. So if you guys want more build tutorials on more positions, more pie charts, and the new pie charts, make sure to drop a like on this video, and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, turn on notifications, because I'm going to be daily uploading throughout the entire prelude in my next video we will be going over every single thing that has changed in nba 2k21 that is not obvious at all because obviously this literally looks like it's nba 2k20 but really it is nba 2k21 and there are a lot of changes that aren't noticeable after a first glance this is 100 going to be a top three point guard build in the game and in my opinion the best point guard build in the game now i have gone over basically every single build possible and this is what i have come up with now you're gonna go with point guard right handed of course number 24 for kobe bryant now when i think of kobe bryant i think of shooting and being able to create his own shots so you know playmaking right so we're gonna go with the green and yellow pie chart now there's two pie charts for green and yellow this is the new one now with this new one right here you don't get hall of fame shooting and hall of fame playmaking that is and the stats aren't that big of a difference to go with it so i went with the regular yellow and green split in half pie chart now the physical profiles are the same so i went with the highest speed because we want to be the fastest now when it comes to driving and finishing these finishing baddies don't go at all look at, i'm maxing everything out and i barely like bro come on i'm getting three baddies if i don't max out post hook so it's not worth it so just max out driving dunk and driving left shooting i went ahead and maxed out everything and then i put down the free throw a little bit and that didn't do too much so i went and put down the post fadeaway until it brought it to 25 batters so i could save a couple attribute upgrades now after that we went to the playmaking maxed out ball handle maxed out pass accuracy now post moves you don't really need that so you know we, we, we want some defensive badges especially in this kobe bryant build so i went ahead and lowered the pass accuracy a little bit and completely lowered the post moves now when it comes to defense perimeter defense max lateral quickness max steel max defense rebound max and then i decided to move around the attribute upgrades to where i could get you know the best badges for my ability and this is what i ended up with i put up close shot a little bit with the rest of my attribute upgrades because i couldn't get any extra badges anywhere else and we get seven defensive rebounding badges, 25 shooting, 22 playmaking, and one finishing. Now, this playmaking shot creator build is definitely very good considering I get seven defensive badges. A lot of these other dudes are making this build with one defensive badge. Now, when it comes to the body type, it doesn't even matter, to be honest. I You can go with slight, you know, burly, doesn't really matter. It doesn't affect your game at all, but I'm going to go with compact. Now, the height, it either goes 6'3 or 6'4, but in my opinion, 6'3 is way better, especially with how I do my wingspan. And it's the good, it's the perfect ball handling. 6'4 is a little too small with the ball handling. Now, weight, after going 6'3, I went 173 pounds. This is the exact weight where you can get the max acceleration and max speed at the heaviest weight. So, this is literally the perfect weight. Now, wingspan, they have completely changed how the wingspan affects your attributes. It's still very similar, but if you don't upgrade your wingspan, you are trolling. As you can see, if I put my wingspan all the way down, it's only putting my ball handling down like one or two. And if I put my wingspan up one, it only goes down one. And then if I max my wingspan or one off max, it's only down one. So you may as well go one off the max wingspan. You could even go max wingspan on this build. This wingspan is going to make your defense way better. You're going to be in way more passing lanes. You're going to be able to shoot better as well, even though the shooting attributes go down. It's harder for people to contest you when you have a longer wingspan. It's also easier for you to contest other people when you have a longer wingspan. Now, after that, we get three takeover options, playmaking, shot creating, and sharp shooting. Now, for this Kobe Bryant build, I'm going to go with shot creating takeover because we all know Kobe Bryant was very good at fading and going off the dribble with his shots. Now, honestly, I would be going with shot creating takeover either way. I think that's going to be the most overpowered in the beginning of the game. Fading off screens, especially with little badges. 
100%, even with max badges. Now, if you didn't go with shot creating takeover, then I would go with sharpshooting takeover. I would not use playmaking takeover because this build you're going to probably be using with screens. And, you know, playmaking takeover is more of like an ISO takeover. So I would definitely go with either shot creating or sharpshooting. Now, here is the build. It ends up being a playmaking shot creator. And it is compared to Damian Lillard, the dude head that has been going absolutely off in the playoffs right now. And, of course, Trey Young. So two crazy good shooters and ball handlers. Now, as you can see, this is looking a lot like 2K20 again. I'm not going to lie. We're going to go ahead and max it out. Go to 99 overall. And now here is the badge setup. Now, with my one driving badge, I decided to go with Slithery Finisher. Now, I know I could have done Fancy Footwork or I could have done Contact Finisher. But Contact Finisher, eh. Slithery Finisher really gets a lot of finesse. Gives you a lot of finesse around the rim and it gets you some easy layups that you didn't think you'd usually be able to get so i went ahead and went with that now shooting badges this is going to be a lot different notice there is no quick draw this year i'm going to be able to use my upgrade somewhere else instead of usually putting it on hall of fame quick draw right so i'm going to go ahead and go with hall of fame green machine hall of fame difficult shots hall of fame range extender hall of fame hazel hunter and hall of fame deadeye and then I'm going to go with Bronze Catch and Shoot, Silver Clutch Shooter, and Silver Corner Specialist. Now, the reason I didn't go Hall of Fame on Catch and Shoot is because I'm not really going to be catching and shooting the ball a lot. You know what I'm saying? And Bronze usually does the job. Now, Silver Corner is low-key, very good, especially if I want to fade in the corner mid-range or if I want to go to the corner on the three-point line. And then Clutch Shooter on Silver, I feel like that's the most effective badge left that can be on a low tier like Silver. Then Playmaking Badges. Now, if I was going for my best badges, I'd probably go with Hall of Fame Space Creator, Hall of Fame Quick First Step, Hall of Fame Handles for Days, Hall of Fame Floor General, Silver Dimer, and Hall of Fame Tight Handles. Or maybe even Hall of Fame Stop and Go. But if I didn't use Dimer or Floor General, then this would be my bad setup right here. It really depends on what you're doing. I mean, I'd probably just use... The second bad setup with no diamond or floor general if I'm playing my career, but it's really up to you. Now, when it comes to the defensive bad is I'm definitely going gold clamps and gold intimidator. Definitely the most the two most important defensive bad is. And then I'm gonna go with bronze interceptor, especially with this max wingspan. I'm gonna be getting in a lot of passing lanes. And you're gonna see when I show a couple different clips of gameplay that my wingspan is extremely long with this player, especially in game. Now, here is the gameplay for the demo. I'm not going to show much because it is just so bad. You First of all, you can't take off your shot meter. The shot meter is literally the worst shot meter in 2K history. Like the video right now, if you agree with me, that this is the worst shot meter we have ever seen. And number two, I can't change any of my drill moves. And the default drill moves they give me are so bad. It's unbelievable. Number three, I can't even do a custom jump shot or something. So I just ended up using the Kobe Bryant jump shot. And number four, I don't know what difficulty this is on, but it doesn't even really let you make that many shots. And the quarter length is not too long. It's only five minute quarter. But anyways, we got into a game as you can see right here bucks clippers i'm on the clippers and yeah we're about to go crazy the gameplay is not the best because of the issues i told earlier oh wrong camera angle yeah but anyways the first look it looks just like nba 2k20 except they put a shot clock in the middle of the court anyways look at how long my wingspan is my player is super lengthy especially at 6 3 another reason why this build is going to be so good as you can see Kobe Bryant going over to the side, dribbling left and right. Like I said, there's not that many drill moves. Full bar, makes the shot. We're shooting over those. I call for a pick and roll. I'm doing this little crossover 16 from 2K15. And that's Green Bean, Kobe Bean, Bryant, catch and shoot. That's a splash for the one time. We go into the rack, close shot, fade. That's Kobe Bryant special. Come on now. Another easy layup. We were really going crazy. But overall, guys, I'm pretty disappointed in the gameplay with the NBA 2K21 demo. I don't know. Let me know you guys, your guys' opinions in the comments below. Do you guys like the new shot meter? Do you guys like the gameplay? Are you guys disappointed in the demo? Did you expect more? Let me know in the comments below. Y'all make sure to drop a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. We're going to be having a lot more build videos on the way. And hopefully, I can add some more gameplay play into it and i'm going to be giving a lot of tips videos with these new pie charts these new builds and really what the difference is in these build systems between nba 2k20 and nba 2k21 because there really is a big difference in the build systems it's just really
really not obvious and it's really and you really have to go in depth with these builds to see what the differences are but yeah to be honest overall i'm not a big fan of the shot meter i'm not a big fan of the gameplay there's not a lot of good dribblers i can practice with on dribbling with there's only really four extra new pie charts and none of them are really that good and overall i'm kind of disappointed and i thought there would be a bigger my player builder system that was going to be a lot different from nba 2k20 but we're going to still be going crazy in nba 2k21 so make sure you guys subscribe to the channel man i'm about to find some broken iso builds because you guys know i am the iso king on the 1v1 core especially when i had that crazy win streak and all those other crazy streams we had on the 1v1 court but anyways guys it's been your boy henry aka double hdf man and i'm out y'all I ain't never had no friends, I was all alone She ain't never called my phone, she left me on my own They saying all girls are the same